my dear viewers, welcome to MRI TV. This is Boko Boko News and Nalu Patricia. Let's have the headlines. At least 40 Haitians have been killed in boat fire, UN Migration Agency says. More Kenyan police deployed to tackle Haiti violence. Five jailed for 2023 murder of Ibada president. Presidential in Five jailed for 2023 murder of Ikwada, presidential candidate. Let's have another see. At least 40 Haitians have been killed at the sea after the boat caught fire. Let's get more from our reporter. At least 40 migrants have died after the boat were traveling in cold fire off the northern coast of Haiti. United Nations Agency says the International Organization for Migration also says 41 others were rescued by the Haitian Coast Guard. Nalu Patricia, reporting for Another 200 Kenyan police officers have, have arrived in Haiti. Let's have more from our reporter. Another 200 Kenyan police officers have arrived in Haiti under a United Nations backed mission to try to quell rampant gang violence in the troubled Caribbean nation. The new batch that arrived on Tuesday brings the total to 400 Kenyan boots on the ground in the violence ravaged capital of Portal Prince. Our court in Ikada has handed down prison, prison, prison sentences of 12 to 34 years to five people found guilty in conspiring murder. Let's have more from our report. A court in Ikwada has handed down prison sentences of 12 to 34 years to five people found guilty of conspiring to murder presidential candidate Fernando Villavicencio. The president Fernando Villavicencio was shot dead while leaving a rally in August 2023. The killing of the anti corruption campaigner left the country reeling amid inspiring violence with government declaring a state of emergency. Nalo Patricia, reporting for MRI TV. The military has confirmed that two more captives held in Gaza died two months ago. Let's have more from our reporter. The Israel military has confirmed that two more captives held in Gaza died months ago, adding that the possibility that they were killed by Israel fire in southern Kanyawanis is being investigated. Alex Dan Sigi, 75 and Yageb Buchester, 35, who were taken by Hamas fighters during the October 7 attacks on Israel from their homes near the Gaza fence. They were declared dead on Monday after a review by Israel authorities, including health experts. Nalu Patricia, reporting for MRIU TV. A Russian court has a test, Alusu Masheva, a Russian American journalist. Let's have more from our report. A Russian court has sentenced Almasu Kumasheva, a Russian-American journalist for the United States-funded Radio Free Europe or Radio Liberty, to six and a half years in prison for spreading false information about the Russian army. Nalo Patricia, reporting for MRI TV. Indian top court has ruled that restaurants cannot, should not be forced to display their names of owners. India's top court has ruled that restaurants cannot be forced to display the names of their owners, suspending police orders in two northern states that critics should foment discrimination against Muslims. Police in the two states, both ruled by Prime Minister. Thanks for watching MRU TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Nalo Patricia. Have a blessed day.